is I have my InMapper software installed. And what we'll do is uh, we'll kind of go through a couple of different scenarios in terms of how you can uh, create, uh, create a map and start that, that network discovery. The first thing you want to kind of consider before you run an automatic discovery is um, if you have devices that might uh, create some chatter, so if you have intu uh, intrusion detection or prevention devices on your network, you might want to kind of keep that in mind that, because that might throw up some, some alerts um, when it sees that Intermapper is trying to run a scan, so that's something to keep in mind. Also, uh, depending on the size and scope of your network, the scan time may, may vary, um, so keep that in, in mind as well. But the one thing that we've kind of improved upon within the product is we've, we've added the ability to do an IP range scan, which uh, can potentially uh, kind of cut down some of the time uh, in terms of trying to identify specific devices. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to create a new map, and we'll kind of walk through the process together. So the first thing here is I have my, my Intermapper console window open. Uh, and I want to create a new map, so I just click on my file menu here, create a new map, and when I give it a name, so we'll just call it test. And while creating the map, we have this map constructor, and there's a few different options here that you can utilize to create a map. You can use an auto discovery feature where you can start at an IP address or you can do an IP range scan to create a map. We have a manual entry uh, component where you can insert a device. If you have a list of devices, you can, you know, a handful of devices that you want to utilize, you can do an insert uh, function and just insert the, those devices manually, or you can insert a subnet. Or we have an import file function that allows you to import um, IPs from a uh, spreadsheet or tab delimited format. So just to kind of show you what that format looks like, I have an example of an import file that we can use. So this is uh, the format of this file, um, and this information can be attained by, from our user guide as well. So you need to show uh, the information within the, um, the file what you want to import. So we have the format, uh, we have the name of the map, or the name of the device, excuse me, the name of the map, the IP address, um, it says if it's an SNMP-enabled device, uh, we can assign probes from this particular format, so you can assign a probe. Uh, we, we're asking for the uh, community string and the version. And you can also, um, from this particular format, you can also assign an icon to the device as well. So I'll show you how we can import that as well. So for this particular test, uh, we'll just start with an auto discovery feature. So we hit the create key. Now this brings up my IP range uh, discovery um, function. So we can start at a starting IP address. So we can start at one. And then let's go ahead and scan in the first 25 devices. So we can enter a range here um, in the mapper. Uh, basically scans by default, we look for uh, from an SNMP perspective, we, we scan on, on SNMP v1 uh, by default, but we do have the ability to scan on SNMP version 3. So if you do have SNMP version th uh, 3 uh, devices within your organization, you can scan those uh, on the initial scan as well, and we will be able to assign a probe to that device as well and start monitoring those devices. So for this particular example, we'll just stick to a v1. and then. The other options is you can tell um, Intermapper in terms of the diff uh, how many hops you want to scan. And what that means is we'll scan and then we'll basically identify devices and we'll identify uh, networks associated with those devices. So if you want us to continue to scan those networks and bring those devices onto your map, you can increase the hops so we can scan those devices. If you want us to stop at a certain point, you can decrease the hops that we, we see and we, we scan on. And then you can edit uh, the filters. Um, what you can do here is we have different types of scan types, and active means that what we'll do is we'll look at all the devices that's sitting in your network, including devices that only respond to pings. 
named means that we will look based on the DNS servers that we can uh, we can see and we associate it with. We will look within the DNS entries and include devices from those DNS entries. Or SNMP will just look for SNMP enabled devices only. So what we do is we'll send an SNMP GET request out to all those devices on the network. And if we get a response from those devices, we assign what we call an SNMP traffic probe to that device. So the probe is used to monitor and interrogate those devices. And if the devices do not speak SNMP, what we do, we'll do is we'll assign an ICMP probe or a ping probe to those devices so we can at least monitor availability or up-down status. So you can select your scan type within the initial scan option as well. So for this, we'll just choose SNMP, and then we start the discovery. And if we look at the actual map itself, in a mapper we'll start scanning your devices. For um, Class C networks, um, it takes a few minutes depending on, on how many devices we're looking at, so it doesn't take too long. The scan is complete. I've scanned in my first 25 devices. Okay, so that's one way that we can enter devices. I'll show you a few other ways. So I'm just going to delete this. There's another way that we can enter devices. We can do a manual insertion where I can just insert an IP address. And the one thing to note is um, Intermapper um, will uh, always connect devices to their respective uh, subnet or network. So what we're presenting to you within this initial scan is we're presenting a logical layer three diagram. So devices are connected to their networks respectively, okay? So we can remove that. And another option to insert devices is we can use subnet. So I've presented a class C subnet, same network, should have 50 devices on this particular subnet, and I'm just gonna click the add network. This presents a network oval, and then I can right click on that network oval, click on scan network where I get the same uh, window where I can determine what scan type I want to, to use, and then I can click OK, and Intermapper will present the devices there as well. So we kind of uh, create this arbitrary map, and we do have some formatting features with, built into the product that we can utilize as well, and I'll show you those um, in, a, in a few minutes. And then last but not least, I wanted to show the ability to import a file using the import function. So I showed you this uh, tab delimited format where we can import a few devices onto uh, within the Intermapper structure. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna close out this map and I'm going to go to the file menu, import data file and I'm going to scan and look for the, that actual file that I wanted to add. So select the file, and Intermapper will cr create a map and then import those devices onto that map. So I created this test map. And it imported those two devices onto the, that map that we created. Okay, so those are the different ways that we can import devices onto a map to begin the process of, of creating that display for us.